Hello, I'm a gardener, and today I'm talking about making seed tapes. Hello, folks. Now, you know, back in uh, January, in the middle of winter, how we was wanting to become spring so that we could get started in our gardening. And, of course, what happens in January late December as we start getting all of these seed catalogs and that makes us want to get out in the garden even more. But here's an important little thing, okay? During the winter months, there are things that you can be doing in preparation for uh, your spring gardening. And so one of the things I'm going to show in this video is how to make seed tapes. Yeah, you can buy them, but there's no need to buy seed tapes when you can make them. So you got your catalogs, Order what kind of seeds you're going to use to make a seed tape. And then watch this video and we'll, I'll show you how to make seed tapes. At the end of this video, I will show you my cost comparison uh, of uh, whether you would buy a seed tape or make your own. And uh, you'll see what the results really are. Now I want 40 feet of uh, uh, seed tape. Now this is a beet seed tape I'm gonna make. So I want 40 feet of it. So I'm cutting a piece of toilet paper, which is 10 feet long. I'm cutting it into four strips. That's gonna give me my 40 feet. I first thought I would make the seed spacing eight inches. But after looking at it, I decided that six inches is probably enough. And maybe even four inches would have been okay. So then, once you've got your tape stretched out, using a Sharpie pen, make dots at the desired spacing, whatever you decide it's going to be, and it's going to be different for different vegetables. So I'm showing using a ruler to get the even spacing. But if you wanted to, you could just kind of guess at it and get it out there far enough you think that the, that the roots of the uh, beets in this case will not be touching. Now for a glue or a paste, whatever we want to call it, I'm simply mixing up a small amount of cooking flour with a small amount of water to make a thin paste. And once we put this on the tape, on the paper tape, uh, then the seeds will stick to it. But once we put it in the ground, it will dissolve right along with the paper and it'll just go away. So what you want to do is stretch the paper or the tape out on a flat surface and place the glue and the seed plate close by. Now as you're getting ready to make your tape, get you a paper plate, sprinkle some of the seeds that you're going to be using on that plate and spread them out a little bit because this is going to make it very easy uh, for us to pick up uh, a single individual seed and that's really what we want here uh, to place on our paper tape. 
You'll see in a moment how we do that. Now I'm using a chopstick to uh, dip in my glue and to pick up the seeds with. But you could also use the eraser end of a pencil as the same way I'm using the chopsticks because you're not likely to have a cooking chopstick like you see me using. But this will work right here. So what you're going to do is you'll dip the end of the pencil into the glue or the paste we're talking about here. Touch it to the uh, Touch it to the dot that you made on the seed tape and then touch the eraser portion to one of the seeds. It'll pick it up, bring it over and touch it to the uh, little dab of glue that you put down on the dot. And then you're just going to repeat that process till you get through your whole tape. In this part, I'm showing cutting paper towel. Now the first part we used toilet paper. Now we're going to use paper towel. And uh, I'm going to cut it in two different widths just to show you that it works that way too. I will cut it in about one inch width and I'll cut it down even a little further into about one half inch width. Both of them works. It's just any way you want to do it. And radishes will be planted much closer than what we was doing a moment ago with the beet tapes, beet seed tapes. So here I'm spacing my, my radish seeds about three inches apart. You probably could get away with um, two inches. I wouldn't, probably wouldn't go down to one because it's going to start to crowd your plants. Now the paper towels that I'm using obviously are shorter. Uh, so if you want to join two of them together to make a longer tape, we'll just put a little dab of glue on the end of one like you see me doing here and uh, then bring another one up and uh, lay it on top of it, let it dry and it'll just be a continuous piece of tape. Now one thing you want to really do on this is you want to let these things really, really dry out thoroughly. Just make your tapes, leave them where they are, go do something else, and let them dry. And that way the seeds will adhere or stick to the paper tape uh, very well. And you'll see as I pick them up in a moment, they do not come off. After you do this a few times, you'll be able to recognize the seeds themselves as to whether they're reddishes or 
or beats in this case and but you can always mark the tape and you can mark the bag that they're going in So here's the beet seed bag or tape bag, and uh, you can see I'm just going to wad it up. You don't have to be super careful with this. It's pretty, it's pretty strong. I'm just going to wad it up, stuff it in the bag, zip it tight, tight. Wait till springtime. Now here's my cost comparison, and if you consider that you already had the toilet paper or paper towel, and you already had the flour, water for the paste, and your only costs are for a package of seeds, then it's easy to tell which is the least expensive way to go. And this doesn't even consider, my, my cost comparison here doesn't even consider that I would have needed to buy uh, two at least, possibly as many as four uh, tapes to get the quantity of, in this case, beets uh, that I wanted to grow. So look at the math on it. You can, you'll see real quick which is the right way to do it. Might add too that this is a great project for children. You could do this in the wintertime with kids. They would really have fun doing this, I think. And then in the springtime, Go ahead and plant the seeds. Let them see what they did with the seed tapes. Let us see how it turns into vegetables in the garden.